Hey you guys, it's Crystal from the Abundantly Blessed Homestead. It's a little noisy around here, but we're gonna do a video anyway. Today we're going to make homemade refried beans that are just as good as your local Mexican restaurant. So stick around. some refried beans. So in order to make the refried beans you have basically, well there's three options, but two options that are the easiest. One is to have an instant pot. I love this option the best because, well, it's fast. Um, or if you don't have an instant pot you're going to need a slow cooker, which is also an option. You would do the same ingredients, put it inside your uh, crock pot, and then you would cook it on low for eight to ten hours. Um, Depending on your beans, sometimes it takes up to 12 hours, so just allow that extra time just in case. Um, I'm going to give a little warning. My husband is working on installing our wood stove in this building, and I have five children in here, so there might be some loud interruptions. Let's just roll with it and laugh anyway, okay? So, I'm going to be using an Instant Pot today, but like I said, all of the ingredients, you would do the same ingredients in a crock pot. The other option is you could slow cook these on a stove on the back burner on low for like pretty much the whole day. Um, I've personally never done that because I would forget about them and I would burn them. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put all my ingredients into my Instant Pot. So, the first ingredient is two pounds of soaked... Um, or if you're really planning ahead, fermented beans. These are fermented pinto beans. Um, if you're on the GAPS diet, you could also use navy beans um, that have been fermented. Um, if you are watching this and don't have time to ferment the beans, you're going to take the beans, you're going to put them in a glass container, um, submerge them in water two inches above the beans, and then add some apple cider vinegar. If you're doing a gallon sized container, you'd you would add two to three tablespoons of raw apple cider vinegar. Hello, Graceland in the background. <laughs> um, you let that soak overnight, rinse them in the morning, and you would have your beans. So this is approximately two pounds, which is around five cups of soaked. It measures out as five cups, okay, after it's been uh, soaked and fermented. So I'm going to put this into my Instant Pot. Like I said, same process if you're going to do a crock pot, but you're going to be cooking on low for eight to sometimes 12 hours. So there it goes. Here, why don't you go put that to the sink since you want to help. <laughs> okay, so the next ingredient is one yellow onion. Um, these refried beans freeze really, really well, so if this batch ends up being too, too much for you, and you have extra, they do freeze really well. And thaw them out and then eat them again at a later time. Here, I'm just going to give everything to you because you're, you're my helper for today. So that goes into the compost container. So why don't you take them? Ooh. Yeah, it's onions, so go quick. <laughs> All right, so with the onions, um, I don't I don't chop mine very small. I just chop them into, um, you know, slices. Whoops, slices. That lighting's really bad, you guys. Sorry about that. Um, like kind of like an onion ring and then I just slice it down the middle. Okay, so it's not diced very small. I might end up moving you guys to the other wall so you guys can see. Let's do that. Hang on. I don't know if this light's any better, but we're going to roll with it. So I've chopped my onion on up. Okay, it's going to go into my Instant Pot. Alright, next ingredient is um, filtered water to just cover the top of the beans. We don't want you to fully submerge the beans. We just want it to come just right up to the level of the beans in either your crock pot or your instant pot. So I'm going to get some filtered water and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have um, four cups or one quart of filtered water. I'm going to go ahead and pour that over top of the beans. And like I said, the water is just covering the beans. It's not fully, you know, an inch or anything. It's just barely to the top of the beans. 
Um, the next ingredient is two and a half teaspoons of good quality sea salt, pink Himalayan salt, real salt. Salt with color, you guys. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, two and a half teaspoons, and it goes. Okay. Okay, so the next spice seasoning ingredient needs to go in is garlic powder. These are actually garlic granules. We're going to be putting in one teaspoon. Okay, next ingredient is one teaspoon of cumin that's been ground. There we go. And then the last ingredient is a chopped salsa pepper. Now these, um, the ones I have are what are called fake jalapenos. I grew these in my garden this year. You could also get a jalapeno, regular jalapeno, take the seeds out um, just to kind of tone down the spice. Um, or you could use a jar, one of those tiny little four ounce jars of green chilies. That's really good as an alternative, okay? So another tip with um, hot peppers is if you freeze them, that's how I choose to preserve mine, um, you can handle them like this and not get the oil on your hands. So um, it's still frozen. I'm gonna go ahead and chop it with no protection on my hands and throw it into the pot. Lots of seeds. Here, this needs to go into the compost. Okay, in it goes. So now I'm going to go ahead and start up my Instant Pot. I'm going to push the manual button. And I'm going to set it for 35 minutes. Okay, it's going to do its thing here. Whoops, be careful. Now, once it um, fully finishes, I will bring you guys back. Like I said, if you do not have an Instant Pot, you sure can do the same process in a crock pot. So you would be loading everything into your crock pot, putting it on low and letting it cook between eight to 12 hours. You're basically wanting the beans to be really soft, okay? So when this is done, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so the Instant Pot just beeped, it just went off. I know you're hungry. Anyway, um, we're going to let it um, do a natural release so we're not going to touch it for 15 minutes and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so the Instant Pot is done now and the remaining steam is coming out. Um, if you used a... That's hot. If you used a regular crock pot, all you guys do is remove the lid. For the next part, it's just simply making these kind of creamy. So I'm going to use what's called an immersion blender. Okay, if you don't have one of these, you sure could use... A potato masher. This is my favorite potato masher. It is by uh, Joseph and Joseph. You can buy it um, at Target, but it's just you push down, which is kind of fun. Anyway, I love it. So, you know, either way, you're just going to either open up your crock pot or open up your instant pot, and we're just going to either mash them or blend them. You could also pour this into a blender if you wanted to. And do it that way. Now these beans will thicken as they cool. Um, so don't be alarmed. They do look runny. I'm actually going to go get some cornstarch and we're going to add a little bit to this batch. I'll be right back. They smell so good. So we're going to do one tablespoon of cornstarch into the mixture. This will just help thicken it. So this will help thicken it up a little bit. We're just going to blend this. Like I said, you could put it in a blender. You could use a food masher. This is an immersion blender, so it is immersed in there as she's blending. And like I said, these will cool, and then they are ready to serve. If they don't quite taste uh, enough like uh, your restaurant refried beans, just add a little bit more of your natural salt um, to them. Yes. It's runny. It's going to thicken up. 
Um, it'll thicken up as it cools. So anyway, that's all there is to it. If it's not thickening fast enough, okay, just a minute, please. If it's not gonna thicken fast enough for you, you can go ahead and put a second tablespoon of cornstarch in there to help thicken it even more. But typically, it does thicken as it cools. So that is all there is to it, to making refried beans. And like I said, you can take the extra and you can freeze it. Um, I'm gonna put this into the refrigerator and store it for Tuesday night's cooking class. And I hope to see you guys there. If you guys have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.